What's up guys, it's your girl Renee from RG Mode and I am back with another video. I believe this is my second video of the year so far, so I'm definitely trying to stay on top of it and stay a little more consistent this year. So um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, my channel is all about fashion, makeup, hair, lifestyle. I do some DIYs and some like um, more like inspirational styling of like home decor and stuff like that so if you're interested in those things you will love my channel and um, for all of my subscribers who have joined me within the last few months thank you so much for being a part of the RG Mode team so today's video is all about the things that I just recently kind of picked up over the course of like a week or so and um, I was in need of a few things that I felt like were I want to say just really not in my like daily regimen um, or things that I just really needed to update. I kind of have a couple of categories. It's like some skincare stuff. There's also some hair care stuff. And then I also have some makeup beauty stuff. So I guess kind of getting skincare out the way because there's only like a few things. I actually went to Target and I think it was like a few days ago, one of my most favorite YouTubers, her name is Vicky Logan. And if you don't follow her, you totally should because she's spiritual. She has great style. She like no Knows tons of information when it comes to you beauty and skincare and stuff like that so I will try to link her channel down below she is awesome but um, I was watching her snaps and she was at Target and she was saying that the Sonia Kashuk collection is like basically going away and that saddened me because I'm a person who has been loving Sonia Kashuk for years I think Sonia Kashuk collection her brushes were basically one of my first ever brush sets I ever like actually bought on my own and actually like, invested in because I would get like elf and you know just dollar store brushes and like stuff that just was super synthetic and the bristles will like fall apart so those brushes were my first step to like actually really like okay I like makeup maybe I should invest in some brushes so so sad but what she talked about in her snap was this here fragrance and this is so Sonia Keshek had like of course makeup brushes which she's really known for and I think it was a collaborative effort between her and Target like I think it was exclusively at Target um, and her makeup brushes are bomb but she also had skincare collection she had makeup so I had never really tried her skincare. I would go to the Target aisle and like smell some of her stuff and it smelled really nice but I just never purchased anything. So um, she, t Vicky Logan, talked about this particular scent and I believe it is, this is a sticker like right in the front of it. I hate when they put like the markdown stickers right in front of it. It's called Red Promisia. <laughs> not really sure but it is in this really cute packaging and it has like roses all over it um this one was the only one I saw so every other scent basically was gone by the time I went there but I'm happy I could smell this one because she like rant and raved about it and she said that it was her wedding scent that she actually had for her wedding so she was really sad that it was going to be going so I think she like bought a ton of them and I just decided to go to Target because obviously if Sonia Kashik is leaving I'm sad and I wanted to like get all the things I could um and there was quite an affordable arrangement of things so literally this was originally six dollars and it was on sale for three fifty so basically there was like fifty to seventy percent off of all of the Sonia Kashuk uh, collections of things this is actually a body wash and I did pick up two actually because it smells really good so um, I'm a very like scent person and the scent is like crazy good it has sandalwood jasmine and vanilla in it i did see that they had it also in a body oil spray so i did pick this up I so i have been on a journey of like trying to figure out what's going on with my skin and um outside of like just going to a dermatologist i've been trying to like do it on my own try to figure it out but one of the things that i've been trying to implement is like a better washing regimen so i am one of those people who tend to sometimes forget to take off my makeup before i go to bed especially if i'm like really tired which is 
horrible of course because I'm clogging my pores and I'm just like not getting that you know makeup and stuff off at night and then of course it gets into my pillowcases I still end up having the dirty makeup from the night before in my pillowcases so it's just like a horrible habit that I have so I was like I need to make sure that I am taking off my makeup every time I wear makeup the night before and cleansing my face that night as well because not just a makeup wipe is cleansing your face obviously this is the glam glow mud to foam youth cleansing daily exfoliate exfoliating cleanser so it looks like this and i have tried the actual mud to foam um, mask that they have and if you do know they sell this usually at sephora it is quite expensive um for the mud mask i think those are like 50 to 60 dollars so ridiculously expensive but you can go to sephora and get samples so i did have a sample at one point but i ran out of it and i was so sad because i would have a blemish put that mud mask on top and i literally my blemish would be gone so i knew that it worked really really well i just like oh i don't know if i can make that investment so randomly was shopping in Saks off fifth which is the discounted store for Saks fifth avenue and I came across this in their like beauty section and this is the cleanser it's not the mat it's not the mask it is only the cleanser um, and it was like in a holiday set um, well or like a gift type of thing um, and this was I believe $15 so it was originally I believe it's supposed to be around 25 to $30 and it was 15 so I decided to kind of indulge a little bit and get this because I felt like that was a really really good deal and I didn't know if I would be able to go back and purchase it if they always carried it or what so I was like let me go ahead and get it just because I know that this is such such a good um, company and I know that their products work really well and I needed a really good cleanser to like strip all of the dirt and grit and makeup and stuff off of my face when I'm you know cleansing my face at night and also like rejuvenating it in the morning as well so i did splurge a little bit on this one here and i've had it i want to say for maybe about a month now almost and it's worked really really well i am still breaking out but i think there's other contributing factors going on but i will say that this guy really cleansed my face really well okay so jumping right into hair care um if you guys watched my most recent video on my hair care like routine um i kind of i don't go into like what my routine is as far as like showing you step by step but i kind of talk about it and i talk about all the products that i use in my hair and um some of the struggles i've been having with actually growing my hair out now so i did decide to get a few products and i did shop at target where a lot of things were actually on sale which of course is like thank goodness so i um used to use the ogx collection like for years um when i first started going natural and i loved it i used to use the coconut one i've also used the moroccan oil one which smells so great um and so i decided to pick this one up and this is the shea soft and smooth shampoo and i just decided that i needed a new shampoo i felt like my shampoos that i had were either making my hair super hard and i would have to like like overly condition it just to make it you know feel back you know soft and bouncy um but this one is really really great i forgot all about how the ogx collection is like phenomenal when it comes to like making your hair feel you know just rejuvenated and like quenched and nourished so this one is great i love the scent of it too it smells really really nice um and like i said i'm a scent person but this kind of smells like a summertime like something that kids would use almost like it's just really really fruity it smells like kids in the summertime i don't know anyway <laughs> So I had been doing some research on like different hair care products and I know that I kind of asked around about leave-in conditioners and stuff like that for my hair and I just was trying to find something that's going to make my hair feel nourished and I did end up like straightening my hair which I was like okay <laughs> I'm not I can't keep up with straightening my hair because it is so short that it tends to need to be re-straightened in a lot of heat I feel like and I just was like, no, I'm going to go back curly and just let my hair do what it needs to do. So I had found out about curls and 
I had heard about this collection, but I just never tried it and never thought about trying it. But um, it was on sale at Target, so I gave it a try. And this one is the Lavish Curls Moisturizer. This is for like second day hair, so it's supposed to be like a refresher. Um, and it's a daily leave in. So I would, could do a twist out and then the next day go ahead and spread this all over my hair and it's supposed to make my curls rejuvenated and I totally think that that is what it does like it literally works to me um it is in a spray bottle but it's more of like a gel type of consistency and I just absolutely love this stuff this was only $5.50 from Target it was originally $11 so pretty great deal and the next thing I got from curls is this goddess curls this is for uh, frizz fighting botanical holding gel that formulate hair um, it has organic mango shea butter plumeria flower extract so it smells awesome um, and it is in more of like a gel like consistency so I do like this um, but I use this like in my you know LLC method I kind of use this as my like curl defining type of cream um, instead of like using a curl cream I would use this guy so it's been working pretty good I think I like this better than this one but um, I do definitely still think that it's a pretty good product the next thing which I kind of recently picked up is this blueberry bliss curl control paste looks like that and it literally smells like blueberries it's awesome I love this so I am growing out my sides I did used to have a mohawk and or like a faux hawk or whatever and because they are growing out it's kind of hard sometimes to make the sides look as tamed and as like coiled as the you know longer parts of my hair so I felt like I needed something to kind of slick my baby hairs and just make it a little more manageable and make it look a little more presentable so I decided to pick this up um it is in like a gel kind of like an edge control type of consistency but it doesn't like get greasy if you know what I mean like some edge controls can like get greasy and I feel like this one doesn't but then again I have not like tried to mold my hair with it I've just kind of placed it in there so I'm interested to see like how this really works I'll let you guys know uh, the next product I actually have is from Garnier and it is the Garnier Fructis sleek and shine um, this is the smoothing light spray with marula oil and so this is it right here um, it smells so bomb like this smells like amazing <sighs> I love it so it's for frizzy and fine hair um, it's a lightweight frizz control and it pro is proven strength system it says but it's supposed to help with frizzy hair my hair literally gets super frizzy especially if I do a twist out or any type of thing where I'm trying to manipulate my curls after I'm taking it down my hair is like nope <laughs> my ends get so frizzy it's so annoying so I've been trying to find products that can actually combat that and make my hair a little more manageable and look a little more tame so I got this guy um, I think it does work nicely I've only used it maybe two times so far so I can't give like a really really great judgment on it but I do like it so the last hair care product that I recently picked up is this OGX this is the coconut curl um, quenching and coconut curls curling hair butter leave in or rinse out and it is this guy I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up because of the color of it but looks like this it smells of course amazing um, I have used quite a bit I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up but it's just a really nice cream and um, I use this in my LOC method however I feel like it kind of made my hair hard I don't know if it was really this or if it was something else but I'm gonna also try to use this as a uh, like rinse out conditioner and see how that works but um, leaving it in I'm not a super fan of it so far I've only tried it twice but 
we're going to see. I'm going to let you guys know because I'm going to do an updated hair video pretty soon about my hair journey and all of that stuff. So be on the lookout for that. So jumping into makeup, one of my local grocery stores that I shop at all the time always has a really, really great um, makeup collection, like beauty section inside of the store. And it's H-E-B. If you're familiar with Texas grocery stores, you know all about H-E-B. And my H-E-B had like a massive sale on all kind of like covergirl products like i don't know like what was going on but i do have things here from either heb or target so i'll just jump right into heb first so i had been wanting to try the katy perry collection in collaboration with covergirl and one of the first things i saw was this katy cat eye mascara looks like this guy here and the packaging first of all is super cute i love the white packaging with the black letters i think that's really really chic and it's really great for flat lays but um what i do like about this mascara is that it is really really wet and i'm not sure if you can see that at, or at all but um i hate a mascara that's too dry or you feel like you just purchased it and it's like still super dry clumpy I hate that I feel like it just really darkens my lashes and makes it look really like full um, and I just I mean I don't know if that's weird if you understand where I'm coming from about it being like wet but um, I just look for a wet mascara that's whatever so this one was i believe like two dollars it was on sale really really great deal the next thing i got from the katy perry and covergirl collection are these two lipsticks so the first one is actually the one i'm wearing right now on my lips it is called Cur uh, crimson cat and it is this really nice red color i love this color and i love the consistency of it as well it's like really nice and creamy um it doesn't make your lips feel like you're gonna fall off i feel like red lipstick sometimes can be really really rough on the lip it's not too red where you know you feel like you gotta like super be like beat in your whole face but it's red enough to be like still a good look for you but not like overly glam i feel like and then this really nice like lavender-y purple color i'm not sure if that is even showing up but it's a really really nice like lilac type of color and this is called cosmo kitty and it's just really really pretty i'll try to swatch it because i'm not sure if you can see but i don't know if you can see that but it's just a really nice purple color and I just I love like bright colors and I'm so ready for the spring I'm just ready for some bright colors like not necessarily heat because I love when it's cold but I'm just ready to not wear black and dark blue and like dark purple like I want some brightness going on I think I got one more thing from my local grocery store which is this other covergirl mascara and it is called total tease looks like this this was also on sale i had never tried really covergirl mascaras and stuff i've really been like a maybelline mascara wear so i just decided to try it this one actually is in brown so i like that it's in brown because i feel like it'll be something that i can wear like on an everyday basis and it'll just be like you know even if i didn't want to apply any makeup sometimes i just do my brows and i also like put on a little mascara and so with this dark brown mascara i feel like it kind of will make it even more of like an wearable everyday you know makeup okay, so jumping back to target i actually picked up some foundation which i was on the hunt for because a lot of youtubers have been reviewing the maybelline superstay better skin full coverage foundation and i was looking for it but i feel like i don't have the exact ones that they have so this is the superstay better skin skin transforming foundation this is what i picked up and the one they've been talking about is called full coverage so i think that this is a little bit different so i was like super excited that i got this exact foundation because everybody was saying how it was so hard to find meanwhile i don't have it so obviously it's still hard for me to find it um but it was originally ten dollars and i actually got it for 2.98 three dollars for foundation is crazy um and this was the darkest literally the darkest shade that was at my local target and i was just like okay either this is going to be perfect for me or it's going to be like the absolute worst i do not have the darkest skin tone um but sometimes um literally 
it doesn't work out for me so i'm sure that there's a ton of other shades well i won't say ton but i'm sure that there's other shades but my local target does not sell darker shades than almond um what i will say i do have it on today right now it does feel super weightless um it's really really easy to blend i feel like it's kind of like a true match for me and i'm loving this i do still want to try to find the full coverage um super stay maybelline foundation so i'll be on the lookout for that one but i did pick this one up <clears throat> and because it was only three dollars i picked up two of them so can't go wrong with that Talking about the Sonia Kasha collection and how it was going away, I'm so sad. Um, I ended up picking up one of her makeup things and it is this brow kit. And so I'm a little confused as far as what this brow kit has. It just says they're all like brow tints, but the color range is quite awkward. Like whose brows are these supposed to necessarily blend for so what i have tried is this one i felt like it was going to be too light at first in the packaging when it was all packaged up and even with the plastic on top and everything i swear they look darker but as i started taking off layers of packaging i was like oh this is a little light um but this shade right here that is in the like top left hand corner actually is pretty nice and dark and rich but i've been liking this sonia kashuk eyebrow kit um i have only been using the top two colors because i think the bottom two are definitely too light for me of course if you have more of a fair skin tone then these may look good on your brows or if you are a blonde um they may look good for you but they don't work for me the next thing i picked up is this elf blush and contour palette this is in color bronzed peach and it looks like this so it's a really nice rosy kind of peach type of color it is like super dark though it's looking like really washed out i don't know why on the camera but this is a really 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 pigmented color so they said to go ahead and apply it with your fingers i actually have tried that with the contour color i did apply it on my fingers and actually put it in the contour or hollows of my cheeks and it did work i feel like with a stippling brush you'll probably be even better um because i'm just not into like contaminating the product and like consistently going from my skin to the product and then i don't know but i have been liking this little elf duo the next thing i got from elf is this like quad and it is a bronzing kit this is the bronzing palette in color deep bronzer and i'm not sure if this is giving enough color payoff but this is really bronze really really good for oh, really really good for my skin tone if you are my shade or maybe even a shade darker or a shade lighter this would be great for you i do love this so what i actually do is take a really nice like fluffy brush i'm trying to find one but i just actually use all four colors so i like dip it all around swirl it all around all four colors and then i kind of put it on to the outer portions of my face and also my in my contour area to like bronze it up and give me a little more pigment and i just feel like it looks really good i mean i, I do have it on right now and i feel like it has warmed up my face because sometimes my foundation can just really make my face really flat so to combat it being flat, I like to bronze up my face and this one is a good one. So the next product I want to talk about is some lip sticks and it is from NYX NYX Lingerie. And Lingerie, they have a wide variety of nude shades and I picked, oh, there's one more, French Toast. So I picked up these guys. I just really like them because I feel like they give your lips like a really good base pigment, um, especially if you kind of have been searching for a different type of nudes. I feel like they have such a wide variety of colors. So I ended up picking up the Confident color and that is this one. I also picked up this one in Honeymoon. And then I have a red one, but I'm not sure where it is, but it's more of like a mauve red type of color i'm gonna pick that one up i will try to let you guys know what it is and maybe put some footage in here so i did pick up one of the intense butter glosses and i really really love their creamy texture and everything so 
that is literally it that is all of the things that i just recently purchased and have added to my collection whether it's hair care beauty and skincare so if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys also have some of these items let me know down below let's have a little discussion don't be afraid to comment also if you are new to my channel like i said earlier in the video go ahead and subscribe i do produce videos quite frequently here's hoping <laughs> consistency is key in 2018 um but yeah thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one peace you gonna subscribe no maybe kind of <laughs>